All right, gang, so we are starting a brand new unit on the metric system, and I've been racking my brain trying to figure out how on earth do I make the, the metric system at least halfway exciting. So here's what we're gonna do, okay? Um, you guys are going to be chefs. And, and let me just kind of give you a little bit of a backstory here. When I was in college, um, out on my own for like the first time, and there was a, a particular girl that I was trying to impress. And somewhere in our conversation, I offered to make her dinner. Not take her out for dinner, make her dinner. But there was a problem. I had no idea how to cook. And this was, this was like back before internet days and, and all that stuff. So um, I, I frantically called my mom and I'm like, mom, I, I just, I, I've got this date. I told her that I'm gonna, I'm gonna make her dinner. I don't know what to do. And my mom kind of, kind of sighed and gave me, um, gave me some ideas. Anyways, to make a long story short, it didn't go so well. No second date there. It was, it, it was pathetic. Um, and about a week later, I get this in the mail. Betty Crocker's Cooking Basics, Learning to Cook with Confidence. And this is where it all began because I learned to cook with confidence. All right, I learned all the basics. And my particular favorite, if I can find it here, let's see, my particular favorite was this right here, twice baked potatoes, okay? So even though my whole little, uh, my, my initial date didn't work so well, um, it, it turned out all right. I love to, love to cook now. Now, fast forward a little bit. My brother lived in Milan, Italy for two years and, um, and learned to cook out there and just learned all these amazing recipes. So when one, uh, one Christmas he, he came and he brought me a cookbook and all the recipes, pasta of Italian cuisine. All right, and, and this is the English edition because I don't speak Italian very well, but there's, there's a problem here. So if I wanna make spaghetti with squid ink, I need 400 grams of spaghetti, 400 grams of baby squid, a few ink sacs, five ripe tomatoes, a clove of garlic, and all of these other things. So um, because this was made over in Europe, um, all of it is in, um, is in the metric system, which is, which is a little bit of a problem. So here's what we're gonna do, okay? You guys are going to take a recipe of your choice. Okay, whatever it is you want it to be. It could be something as, as simple as peanut butter and jelly or as complicated as who knows what. All right, I'm gonna leave that up to you. But you are going to metric size, metricize it and, uh, and turn that recipe into something that could be uh, used in either the, the English system or the metric system. So here's what we're gonna do. First of all, we need to make sure we understand how to uh, how to measure using the metric system. We also need to make sure that we understand how to uh, do what are called metric conversions as well as English to metric conversions. So um, in this challenge, you are going to once again take a, a, a recipe. You are going to convert the, 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 uh, the measurements from English to, to metric, okay? So we're talking mass, we're talking volume, length, temperature, all of that stuff. And then you're also going to upsize it, okay? Meaning instead of just making it or uh, showing how to make it for just like a few people, how would you make it if you were the owner of a restaurant and had to do this every single day for hundreds of people? So we'll talk more about that later. But here's what I want you to do you are also going to make a video recipe. So if you don't know what a video recipe is, I want to show you this. Okay, so these are on, so like old people are on Facebook, okay, and they always are sharing these different things like this. This nice lady, lemon tree dwelling, okay, fresh recipes for everyday life. This is, this is Kathy. I don't know Kathy, but Kathy has this, this video recipe of cinnamon roll French toast casserole, all right? And she's got this lovely little video right here, so let's let's watch.
All right, so that looks lovely. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. So along with metricizing your, uh, your, your recipe, you are also gonna make one of those videos and you're gonna teach us some things and we'll talk more about the details later, but here's the trick, okay? Here's, the, here's what I want you to do, is you are going to uh, make this, everybody's going to see it, and then we are going to vote on the, the best recipe. And here's what I'm willing to do. I am willing to make the, the top recipe for all of you here at the, at the end of this unit, okay? So, um, so we will talk more about that, but uh, what I would like you to do is have an idea and be able to tell me what is the recipe you think you're gonna do. I'm excited to see it. Talk to you later.